Okay, chapter 8.1, these are four questions with 8.1. Again, 8.1 is your algebra chapter, and this chapter is about having um, decimal coefficients and fractional coefficients with fractional sums on the other side and fractional and decimal values for x. So the first question is 2x equals 3 fifths, so of course we're going to divide by 2 on this side. And when we divide by 2 on that side, we know that those are opposite operations. I'm left with x. But when I divide this side by 2, remember what we said? We said we don't want to write it like this like we normally do. Since we have a fraction there, we're simply going to write it as dividing by 2. And since that's a whole number, we want to consider that whole number to be 2 over 1. And that's how we would write division by 2. Now, of course, when you learned division of fractions in grade 8, you learned that if you keep the first fraction, and change this to multiplication and use the reciprocal of the fraction, which means the flip, you will attain the same answer even though it's a different operation. So when you multiply this out, you'd end up with x equals 3 tenths. In the second question, we're going to divide by 4 fifths. So I'm going to divide this side by 4 fifths to get rid of the multiplying by 4 fifths. And over here, I'm going to write it as division by 4 fifths which just like we said in the last question, we're going to change that to multiplication by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 quarters. And then when we multiply it out, we're going to have x equals 1 times 5, which is 5, 2 times 4, which is 8, and our answer is x equals 5 eighths. <clears throat> Next question, this is a simpler one because it's really not a whole lot different than grade 8. You're going to divide both sides by the coefficient to get rid of it. And x equals, now I'm going to use mental math here without a calculator. If I have a dollar eighty, and I need to divide it into piles of 20 cents, how many piles could I make? Well, I could make five piles with a dollar and four more piles with 80 cents, so the answer is nine. If I have a dollar eighty and I'm dividing it into piles of 20 cents, I could make nine piles. Take your calculator to double check your answer. A dollar eighty divided into piles of 20 cents is nine piles. And your last question, since you're dividing by negative 1.5, the opposite operation is to multiply both sides by negative 1.5. And x will equal, uh, well, multiplying it by 1 would be 2.4, and half is half of that, which is 1.2. So it would be 3.6, a positive 3.6. Double check with the calculator. 2.4 times 1 would be 2.4, and another half would be half of 2.4, which is 1.2. So your answer is 3.6. Since it's a negative times a negative is a positive, it's a positive, you don't have to write it. Okay. 